guys. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to ping a ball on the ground, mid height, and in the air. I'm gonna be showing you all three of these different types of pings in slow motion so that you get the logistics of how to hit it, how to plant your foot. At the end of the day, it's all about you going out and practicing this hundreds and hundreds of times. That's how you're gonna get it. But hopefully these key tips are gonna help you understand how to plant your foot and how to hit it. So let's get to it. What's up guys? So the very first thing you wanna focus on is hitting the ball with the correct part of your foot. The highlighted area is where you're gonna get the best contact and to make sure the ball has a nice backspin on it. So keep your foot flexed and make sure to hit it with your laces. The next thing is to make sure you don't stand too wide from the ball or too narrow. Making sure that you stand about 45 degrees from the ball will ensure that you get the best result in hitting a driven ball. When playing a driven ball on the ground, it's important to remember not to lean back too much and not to be leaned forward over too much as well. If you watch me kick the ball, you can tell that I'm not leaned back too much, but I'm not leaned forward too much either. Making sure you find that sweet spot of being a little bit leaned back will ensure the ball goes right to your teammate's foot. Lastly, let's talk about the planting foot. So in all my long balls, I noticed that I plant my foot about the same distance every time I kick it. It's about five inches away from the ball. And I feel like this is more of a personal preference and what you feel most comfortable. So the only difference between the three passes really is where you hit the ball and how far you lean back. For the driven balls on the ground, you wanna ensure that your body isn't leaned forward too much and you wanna hit the ball right in the middle. When you want to start to hit it more in the chest area, mid-level, you want to make sure you're slightly lean back and you want to hit the ball right below the midline. Lastly, for long balls. So for this one, I feel like it's one of the more simpler ones. This one, you want to lean back as far as you can and you're going to get as under the ball as possible. Make sure that you keep your foot flexed throughout the entire movement and keep your foot straight. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, please give this a thumbs up. And if you're interested in learning some more techniques or things to do in soccer, subscribe and turn the notification bell on. Please comment down below future things you'd want me to do. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated so I can help you guys. I really want to provide my knowledge uh, to any of you that are looking to get better or want to learn anything new. So thank you again, guys, and hope you all have a wonderful yep. day.